Hey peeps, what's up? Got a little parcel in the mail. It was half open when I got here. I figured I'd share it with you guys at the same time. Playing the new God of War, which is super sick. On my uh, PlayStation Pro. Xbox One X. Uh, this is new. You guys didn't see this. I got myself a new Husky uh, toolbox. 36 inch. It's pretty tall. This is about chest height. I also got this, I gotta fit this in the EP3. Got myself a Mugen Airbox. These are really expensive. They're uh they're rare. It's just not like a P flow, it's a real air box. Kind of what they use to race for real. So maybe more on that another day if you guys want to see shit like that. But uh this is what I received in the mail today. Uh I don't know what that has to do with anything, but the horns on the CRV are, are completely finished. So I figured I'd get a pair of a uh, pair of these guys to put in there. So uh, cool. I'll take the the bumper cover off and put these on when it's nicer out. I did continue doing some work on the uh, the CRV. I got a new valve sat in to uh, the head, cleaning things up. I cleaned the uh, intake manifold, it was full of carbon, I had to use an uh, oven cleaner, which was an okay cleaner, but if you ever get the Paramount gasket remover, holy shit, that stuff is strong. I'll show you where I cleaned it yesterday on the freezer, fucking, I don't know if you guys can see that, just fucking taking the paint off, but uh, shitty weather today, it was really nice yesterday, we gotta put all our shit in front. Because uh, they're coming to to dig out the back outside there. I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to change the sheds around. It's not like they're in bad condition or whatever. But So uh, I got that done. New valve was seat in there. I got to clean up the head a little bit with the old gasket because it's still stuck on there. And uh, get stuff prepped to put it on. I got my copper spray for the head gasket. And uh, I got the uh, gray high torque uh, ATV. RTV uh, silicone ready to go. Just got to check out the torque specs. And uh, when it's nice, we'll be ready to build the engine back up, start it up, see if it's running right, the compression and all that. Hopefully, if not, I'll have to source a new block. Then I got to take the spindles off both sides in front, get new wheel bearings and the ball joints. I got that ready to go. So, a uh, little update for you guys. New performance horn. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's going to sound like, but anyways, I think one's a high and one's a low. Oh, I'm about the same. It's probably really fucking loud. Boop, boop. All right, guys, I'm out. Just woke up from a nap. I had presents at the table. NGK wire set. Blue wires. Everyone looks for these. These are probably the most expensive ones you can buy. You will not get a misfire because of your wires. If you're running these guys, trust me. That's my coffee. This is a Felpro. It's a valve cover gasket set with uh, spark plug grommies. We got a new coil pack. To go with the rest. Remember I got the uh, distributor and the cap and all that. I have this one already. Plugs. Yeah, brand new NGK spark plugs. That's how you get them? Yeah, they come in a box. Everything <laughs> comes in a box. But saving money buying this stuff from the States because it would cost me an arm and a leg here. Put that on the fridge, bud. Yeah, that one. And it's right there when you get a brand new one. I swear to God, this box is way 
way big for what's in there. And it's very light, too. That's what you said you were getting, too. Bubbles. Oh, can I pop some? Well, not right now. Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, God. <laughs> serious. I get one. Woo. Are you serious? <laughs> You gotta be kidding. Way too big for what's in there. New head gasket. I'm out. You know this goes on the outside because it's a I'm out. Holy oh, smoke. I'm out. Bye. You can see these ones are a little bit bigger than the other ones because the dowel pin goes I'm in here. Mm. And this is your standard... Uh, Exhaust manifold. Looks I'm so, it looks a little warped. I will sit down with the rest. Yeah. Of the Annette. Oh, mm, another that. one. Yes. Annette. Annette, daddy. Daddy, Annette, daddy, Annette, daddy. Yeah. This one. Daddy. Yeah. It's on the pot. <laughs> no, I'm doing a video. Give me a minute, bud. Yeah. Andy, Andy, Andy. I'm trying to make a video, bud. Okay? Go in the living room. Andy. Andy's our three year old monkey. Whoa. We got our new uh, window regulator. With new motor and everything, which is pretty heavy, but I'm gonna leave that in there. It's the only window that wasn't working on the CRV. So, no messing around. Yeah, I'm getting to it. No more. This one is. On. It bought itself. <laughs> the other side. Oh. Customer sale order date. It's an official Honda part. Oh yeah, awesome. So, these are always all so rotten on every CRV. I swear to God, I could post a picture of these on the forum that I'm on, and they'd be like, yeah, I feel the pain. <laughs> so, that's about it, guys. Well, that's about it. That's enough. Fuck. Girlfriend got another 99% score on her test. Woo! Ripping through that uh, college degree pretty damn fast. Trying to. All right, I'm out. Time for a call. Hey, peeps, what's up? This is my uh, first official video with my new Sony uh, Xperia. I'll put the model number down in the, uh, the description here. But uh, this is the Heat. I'm going to be changing out the front clip down the road. I'm not really worried about it. It's going to be a trail rig. I bought it. It's got a winch plate on it. I think it's got a anywhere between a three, maybe a three inch lift. Oh, the guys are showing up to do the work on the lawn. They're redoing the whole back lawn. They're digging down about five feet and replacing all the dirt and redoing the uh, the structure, I guess, or whatever. 
and making the backyards more like uh, over there, the fenced area. Us, it's like wood. But anyways, this is just to show you how loose. Because I bought this thing. I got it for a good price. They're hard to find, but... Yeah, Mama! That's yeah, pretty Mama! Bad. Yeah, I did the sway Mama. bars, and I thought I was hearing yeah, a noise. Mama. I knew it wasn't that, but I'm like, they were all fucked up and broke anyways. And they look like uh, they could be a little bit longer, because the sway bar is pulling pretty hard on it. It's got a weird angle, you know, when you, you lift the XJ up too much, and you keep the stock sway bar kind of like bends down or goes up too high. But... Um, like another inch or so on those it would have been fine so i think it's got like a three inch lift but uh these ball joints holy shit that's bottom and top so i gotta dig into there and do that that'll that'll help out a lot and the other only other thing i noticed as well is the bushings for the uh the rear end the uh, leaf springs and the shackles need to be replaced. I have a uh, energy suspension kit on the way. I don't know if I want to do the job myself. <laughs> Andy, what are you do Andy! What are you doing? It's making gorilla noises. It looks like it's got a Rancho stabilizer shock on there. I didn't really look into that, but... There they went by again. <laughs> They're walking around. All right, so this is what we got going on. I did the bottom of the doors and stuff, the rocker panels. I'm changing out with the beam. I'm gonna cut all that shit out. I'm getting uh, Napier fender flares, I think, or bushwhacker. I'm not sure. And uh, that's it. I gotta get the window replaced because I broke it myself. <laughs> The plastic molding that goes around it, I was knocking it with my fist. And I smashed the fucking windshield, guys. It's got, uh, it's got rugged ride seats. Bucket seats. You guys can see that. I'm swapping those out. It's got the auto. It's okay, bud. It's okay, bud. They're a little tight on me, so I went and picked up some, uh, I don't know if you can see past Bob there, some earlier uh, Integra seats that I already did the brackets for and everything. It's two pop rivets. Well, not pop rivets. They're just like press rivets. You got to take them out and just knock the whole, the whole structure on. I got it here under this. It's a little bit back there. And then you just have the flat, low profile form. Took the cow off to clean there, inspecting stuff, not too bad. Molding's off, I'm gonna have to clean around there when the guy comes to uh, knock it out, it's not full of shit. I'm gonna get a new windshield put in. Probably gonna rocker guard the front nose, this fender when I get it, a new one. Maybe uh, the top. Seal that up, I guess. Not sure yet. Tuck and fold is on the way because of this. When I have time, I cleaned up the rest to try and save it. Like I said, the rocker panels you can see in the wheel well, they're, they're, they're dead. The video of new shocks you guys saw. Tuck and fold on this side. A little worse. The rot's a little higher, but I'll be able to do something with it just the same. Rebuild a little bit of that with uh, some new tin and I should be fine Sketch it out on a piece of uh, cardboard then you cut the Cut the tin and you weld it in and He wants out I'm Looking at the Jeep he wants to go under in it 11 months now. He's almost a year little Louie mommy No daycare today. All right guys, I'm out little update for you all right, back to the CRV with the broken engine. Looks like I got a water leak in here somewhere coming down, probably from the the, the uh, windshield or something. I don't know. I'll figure that out. I got this, but right now 
You got three bolts to remove there, two eight that are on the rested part, one ten that's on the silver, and one ten back there. You gotta loosen, I took it out, but I just need to loosen it. And uh, two Phillips, one there, one down here, and one there to remove the molding that's on this side, but it's to get to the filter. I don't know if it's ever been done, so. Oh my god. Eh, it looks kind of sandy. Ooh. Yep. That'll stink up a cabin filter. Yep. And you have to pass the vacuum in there, too. Yeah, I'll go get the house vacuum for it, though. Okay. That is bad news. It's black. Jeez. And you, do you need to keep the plastic? Yeah, yeah, that's what holds it. Okay. I'll just put that aside. Wow. Probably never been done, guys. Look at these. Holy smokes. All right, get the vacuum, clean that out the best I can. All right, guys, I'm out of here.